watching right now. It seems like one of the chicks is really not doing well. I just want them to live. All of them. We can't take him out till they dry. Look, he's he's snoring. Do you see the little chick? Yeah. Mine is gonna hatch in one minute. I'm scared it's gonna die. You know, I think it's gonna be okay. But that's Once always they possible. dry out. It's moving. The feathers are starting to grow. Are they blind when they're first born? I no. think that they can see, but probably not right away. But they're probably just like name. closing their eyes. Let's name them. What do you want to name this it. one, you guys? Caleb um, Jr. Caleb right. Jr. Let's say Caleb gets to name this one. Caleb Jr. I think it wants to get water. How do we help it? We don't. We have to just watch it for now. It has to struggle to try, it's all of them have to struggle to try to come out of the egg and then try to survive. That's part of life Papa, for animals. I, I see their legs. Mm -hmm. The egg under him is hatching and he's like, <laughs> it looks like he's having fun. He's learning how to walk around. Mm -hmm. And he and he's starting to like turn his head so he kind of is starting to understand us. Yeah, and, and while we whistle, we're bird talking. Huh? Oh, where? <laughs> well, it was exciting to come out to a baby chick this morning, and a bunch of the other eggs have little, you know, peckings on them, so hopefully we'll get to see more chicks hatch throughout the day today, but. The other one that's pushing its way out, I saw its beak move. Isn't that crazy? The kiddos are helping me make some lunch. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. Yep. Yeah. And I like macaroni cheese. All right, Grateful Raspberries, what are you grateful for? Walt Disney. You, uh, you wrote down like a quote of his yesterday. What is it? If you can dream it, you can do it. I love that quote. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for pogo balls. Isn't that thing fun? Uh-huh. I'm grateful for that I go to bed and, and my dream about was mommy, the baby was out, and the baby was cracked and it was then the got all, all over <laughs> okay that's your dream uh, oh my I'm grateful for Papa I am grateful for our little chicks it is really exciting to see them starting to come out of their egg and I'm excited over these next couple of days it's just gonna be a lot of fun to see them growing up well, I just got home from a doctor's appointment for baby girl and her heartbeat is good, her head is down, and I am actually already three centimeters dilated. So that's good and exciting and it makes me wanna get my whole house ready. So last night we cleaned the van out and I finally ordered the car seat and it's being shipped and we're gonna get it in just a day or two. So things are moving in the right direction. I hope baby girl stays in at least a little while longer so we can be a little bit more ready for her when she shows up. Well, it's school time and I think we're gonna learn some more about chicks today. Woo! There's one totally hatching right now. Oh my goodness, oh, it's getting, Isaac, Isaac, come on. Isaac. So we were just reading that book about how chicks hatch and then we came over to check and one of them is making a lot of progress. Oh my goodness, oh, look at it go. So here's how they hatch. On the end of the beak is a little pokey spot I feel like it's gonna happen all at once. I think it will. We might have to stay here all day. 
You can see how it makes a big effort and then it rests for a minute. Yeah. So the way the chick actually hatches out of the egg is it has a little tooth at the end of its beak that's called an egg tooth and it uses that to poke a hole in the egg. Then it makes a hole all the way around the outside of the shell and then it pushes with its feet and its shoulders like against each other and makes a clean break. Let's call it Laura Jr. <laughs> we might have a lot of juniors. I don't want to call mine Junior. Laura gets to choose. Yeah, Laura gets to name it. I think she'll call it Stinky Magoo or something. <laughs> I think she'll name it some princess name. Yeah. Or a... <gasps> oh, another piece. How big it is. Come on, Come on. Oh, <gasps> oh, <laughs> it broke the little wow. bird. Oh my goodness. It's feet. Yeah, there's its foot. Whoa. It's so tummy is so hairy. It's tired. It's got feathers, Kayla. It's trying to get its head out. It made it out. Do you guys see how wet the feathers are? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's so adorable. Yeah, this is, I think, going to be the next one to hatch. I can see that she's moving. You really can't hear that shit, this. So we're sitting here reading the book and we're watching our little baby sister kick all over the place. She was moving so much. Of course, now I turned on the camera and she's holding still. Maybe she just likes hearing her brothers oh, and sisters. Oh, she's kicking. Hi. <laughs> Don't hurt the baby. You're so nice, Caleb. Anyway, so when the first chick hatched this morning, Laura came into my room and she goes, Mom, is the baby gonna hatch today? And I was like, no, the baby's not hatching. And she's like, when it hatches, does it poke your tummy and crawl out? And I said, no, babies are born a different way. It was really cute. It looks like we've got another egg getting ready to hatch. Oh my goodness. It's yours, Jeremy. What am I gonna name it? Big decisions. Audrey? <laughs> it's so exciting. It really is so exciting. Oh my goodness! <gasps> there it is! That one is definitely yellow. It is. It's definitely yellow. First time to hold its head up, you guys. No kidding! Oh my goodness. It's like waddling, having fun. It's, it's butt is stuck. <laughs> It's duck butt. So we gotta get the cage ready for the chicks they're gonna be moving over later this evening. So this will go on top and then the heat lamp will go right on top. Like that. That's a big space for seven chicks. Well, they're little now, but they're gonna grow bigger. I know, they're gonna be like that big. And you said that someday we can let them play on the floor and we can play with them. Yes, when they get a little bit bigger. The water. I don't. I think it would oh, might spill somehow later. I can't believe we're having little chicks. Wow. There we go. It was just like bum 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 bum. Isaac is making data sheets for each chick that hatches. Great idea. That way we can remember exactly when they were born. Yeah. Caleb Jr.'s birthday is on my birthday, but midnight. <laughs> they probably celebrated it. You think he already celebrated it? Okay. Because this is what's going to keep them warm. This is stage one, and this is stage two. This is stage three, and four, and five, and then six. Awesome. So you drew a picture of how the eggs are hatching. Mm hmm Good work. Let's see yours, Isaac. Life cycle of a chicken right there. Miss Laura woke up. Do you want to see the chicks? Mine is uh, open. Yeah, yours is open. Do you see the little chick? Yours is that one. Uh, yeah, that one's mine. Yeah, yeah, and look. Look over here. There's another one. That's the baby chick one. Who's that for? That one it came out of daddy's egg. Oh, well, yeah. Let me tell Daddy that it is open. You want to go tell Daddy? You get to choose a name for your little baby chick. Mm, what are you going to name? Your... <laughs> I don't know. I can't even name a baby. I don't know if I can name a chick. 
What do you think is a good name for a baby chick? Uh, Tiana. Mine is going to be Tiana. <gasps> Hi, Tiana. The chicks are all together at the moment, <laughs> which kind of cracks me up. Well, the kids have done awesome on their schoolwork today, and so I'm letting the boys have some tablet time, and the girls wanted to play with makeup. Their play makeup. I may regret this. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Do you want purple? This color or this color or this color? Pink. Close your eyes. Or like, close them. Close them. Great job. <laughs> I'm gonna fix a little. <laughs> Makes you being such a nice sister. So as part of Elisa's school today, I have a bunch of words written up here and she is going to shoot them with the Nerf gun. <laughs> and when you shoot it, Lisa, you have to read the word and tell me why the word has the silent E. Blue. Blue, and why does blue have a silent E at the end? English words do not end in I, U, V, or J. All right, so the word couldn't end with U, huh? Mm -hmm. So we have a silent E. All right, what does this word say? Simple. Simple, and why does simple have a silent E at the end? Every syllable need, <laughs> every, every syllable needs a vowel. You're right, and so that second syllable, simple, pole needed a silent E. Elise's reading program, Logic of English Foundations, is really cool. She's already learned four different reasons why you would need a silent E at the end of a word. I had no idea. It's been really fun to learn all of this alongside of her. Okay, we're gonna move the chicks that are hatched into the cage. Come on, little birdies. They're like, what is this? Oh my goodness. They're like, what's going on? So these two are bigger and seem to have dried off a little better. This guy was the first one and he still looks, well, he's alive. Get the water and the food. <laughs> go for the water. The water. Them to go to the water. They calmed down when they found each other. They like each other. They're brothers. You think they're brothers and sisters? <laughs> Well, it's really sad. The chicks were having a lot of fun, but it seems like one of the chicks is really not doing well. And honestly, we don't know if it's going to survive. I just want them to live. All of them. I'm sad for the other black one. That was a big old bite.